are things that trigger LEGO Star Wars fans, part 40! <laughs> One of the best battle packs out there is the 212th Battle Pack. Released back in 2014, this was revolutionary. It was the first time we got the 212th Clone Troopers, and the first time we got Stud Shooters. Why? To this day, these minifigures are really good. And of course, we got an Octotara droid. Unfortunately, it's not entirely accurate to the movie. They replaced the cannons with these flick firing missiles. And they're so old that they can't really fire. Well, actually, that was really lucky. But I'm also missing one of the pieces. I'm missing two. And the head isn't entirely round. These things are very underrated. Like the droid gunships, they're very terrifying. Like, you need a bunch of clone troopers just to take one down. I wish LEGO made one for the Clone Wars. I want to see another battle pack for the Battle of Utapau. It could still happen, but it seems like the current ATT walker is what we have for now. And yes, we'll get to that very soon. But still, when will that ever happen? And why? <coughs> V-Wings are one of my favorite ships in Star Wars. And unfortunately, mine is not in the best condition. I've lost so many pieces. The stickers are coming off. And this one is so misaligned. I know. Why? At least the minifigures are still here. Honestly, I don't know why the helmet looks like that. The printing looks very strange. It looks very odd that there are missing pieces. I could just replace them, but they'll just come off again. This piece right here is cracking, which, yeah, really bothers me. I was not good at taking care of my Lego sets back in the day. Hopefully I restore this in the future, unless they remake this set. I think it'll be a while, but still. Why? Before there were X-Wings, there was the Z-95 Headhunter, a great ship that was recreated as a set in 2013. Unfortunately, like so many sets, it's gotten very old. It's so old, it's starting to yellow on most pieces. And that piece broke, which is very unfortunate. And even worse, the stickers are cracking and peeling off. Very, very unfortunate. Despite that, I never took it apart. It's just too good to take apart. And back in the day, I thought these minifigures were great. But now, I think Pong Krell is an uncanny minifigure, but he's exclusive to this set. This is the only time we got this clone trooper helmet, and I wish we saw more of this. Hopefully we get one in the future, but I am glad we're getting more variations of the 501st. Well, except for Fives, Jesse, Echo, Kix, and Hardcase, and Top, heck, even Dogma? As well as Waxer and Boyle, we never got those clones as minifigures. Hopefully in the future we get more Z-95 Headhunters, not as a LEGO set, but hopefully they appear in the Bad Batch. But until then, this remains obscure, but it will be remembered by all Clone Wars fans. <laughs> can you believe we got another ATT -E walker? It's actually really good. I like how you can fit clone troopers inside, and I like how you can carry it. If only there was a dropship for this. But let's be real, a lot of people are getting this just for the minifigures, and they're not so bad. We get more battle droids. I get people wanted to see a crab droid, but I think dwarf spider droids are better. At least this one doesn't have a stud shooter cannon. Hopefully we get a crab droid set in the future. Maybe that could be a good battle pack. Alright, let's address the elephant in the room. Or clone trooper in the room. Don't get me wrong, this is a good minifigure. It's very detailed. The problem is the printing on the helmet, right at the very top. You see, this is what it's supposed to look like, but it doesn't. I know this. Because I know my Star Wars lore! That's why! I literally thought this was a printing error, and maybe that's what it is. But it's not accurate. We just have to accept it for what it is. <coughs> Alright, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. The very final segment. After so many years of speculation, we finally got him. We got a Phase 2 Commander Cody. I can't believe it finally happened. This is the greatest clone trooper of all time. But shouldn't he have arm printing? And a backpack as well? Well, it's right here, but it's printed on his back. I don't know why. Also, where's that thing that's on the shoulder pad? There are so many LEGO Star Wars fans that expect a lot to happen. And depending on the time, it could be good or bad. Fans have been wanting Commander Cody for so many years now. And the wait was worth it. It's not going to be a perfect minifigure, nor will it be cheap. Let's be thankful this year that we got Commander Cody. It will always be treasured in my LEGO collection. But you know who really should have been a minifigure? Someone who has been there from the very start. Someone that made the Clone Wars very special. It is the legend himself. Because he's from Legends. Captain Fordo. It would be nice, but he's not canon. That's unfortunate, but I wish it could happen. He should have been canon from the beginning, but I guess Rex is more popular, so... Oh well. When will Fordo be canon again? Ford the Republic! And why?